It has been a challenge. It has been very difficult to um, make everything come together knowing that we will not be face to face with our students. As principal here at Carver High School, this is definitely an unprecedented school year. Uh, we have been planning since April for how we would reopen school. Uh, the Carver High School leadership team has been working constantly, brainstorming, trying to figure out what could we do to provide our students with the most effective instructional plan for the school year. One of the most important elements of this has been communication. Hola, soy Ms. Blumenfeld. Welcome to U.S. History 10. It is a challenge because although we have cell phones, uh, we have the opportunity to Zoom. It is not the same as having um, around the table face-to-face -face conversation. And so some of the, com the communication gets lost in assumptions uh, because once that Zoom is over, we all move on to our task, hoping that everyone uh, that was engaged understands. However, we have worked through those elements and we have put together a plan that we believe will work for our students here at Carver High School. If a parent or student was unable to pick their uh, resources, their books, supplies up at the a designated time this week, we are going to be available on Friday until 6.30 p.m. and we will be also be here next week. Um, we are open every day here at the school, Monday through Thursday, from eight o'clock until 3.30. So after the, to this week, if a parent has, or a student has not picked up their resources, they can definitely stop by and get that. Uh, the only late night we will be here is Friday night. We'll be here until 6.30 for parents or students to come by. Well, the first thing our students can do is go ahead and log into their uh, Google Classroom that teachers uh, have assigned their codes for them and view their teacher's introductory video, which gives them more information about the course and about what those expectations are. And as well as telling them how to reach their teacher, it tells them how to reach their teacher if they have additional questions or concerns. Communication is going to be the key to this process. If a student is unable to log in, if they are unable to get into a teacher's Google Classroom, they can call the school. If they call the school, they will either be connected with the technology person who is acting in our school, uh, or the curriculum coach, or an assistant principal. So we are here to assist our students. All my students know my cell phone number, and certainly if they text me, I'm going to uh, give them the person that they need to contact. The fastest way to get help with login is to email Mr. Schink. His email is on the website and he can correct whatever it is that they need if they have claimed their account and if they have the course um, codes for their teacher. The only way we're going to be successful at this is to communicate with each other. Uh, teachers have to talk to students, students have to talk to teachers, parents have to talk to teachers. We all have to com continue to communicate. That is going to be the key to this working because we are not face to face. We're not seeing each other every day. We're not hearing a teacher give an, a an answer to another student per se. So until we get to that point that we all have our laptops and we're in our Zooms every day, the most effective thing to do is to continue to communicate with everybody involved so that you get the right information. Patience and understanding are key to making this instructional plan work. We thought that our students reading and writing, those two elements will help our students be academically successful, not just for this remote learning, but for a lifetime, because those are the core elements that our students need to be successful. So many of their assignments are, are uh, aligned to reading and writing so that they are able to capture what they need without a lot of support from their teachers. As long as they understand what is being asked of them, they have the books, they have the questions, they'll have the, the information, they will have teacher videos, 
they will be able to be successful. It just will require that our students are patient, that they take time, that they do the uh, assignments that are being asked of them, and that they put in the time. It's not going to happen overnight. They do have to utilize their um, time at home as a school day to complete their assignments. Get up every morning, get, get your top half ready so that you look like you're ready for school. Get in place so that you're able to get online and talk with your teacher and communicate with them and participate in class. It is my prayer that we will have our laptop devices out to our students within the next two weeks. So we will begin the first week with Google Classroom and videos, but hopefully after that, we'll be calling you back for a drive-through to pick up your device. So make sure you have registered. You have to have completed registration to pick up a device. Looking forward to the school year. Um, we're always here if you need us. Last name is Carver. Don't forget it.